Hi, this is Dr. Yang. In this video, I will show you how to make a structured disposable face mask using materials you already have at home. If you're able to make a classic paper airplane like this one, you should be able to make this non-medical face covering that we're being told to wear in both California and New York. So what you'll need is a paper towel. This one's pre-folded. This is a piece of printer paper. After this quick assembly, I'm going to have an overhead instructional video, which will go in more detail. But I just wanted to give you guys some confidence that you'll be able to do this at home. The ones that you sew look complicated and uh, many Americans uh, no longer have sewing machines at home. So that makes it very hard. What you'll need is a ruler, a strip of printer paper, seven inch wide paper towel, two rubber bands and a stapler. To make the strip of printer paper, measure one and three eighths inch and draw a straight line can cut it with scissors or crease it and tear it as demonstrated. Next, take a, the seven inch wide paper towel folded in half from top to bottom. Next, take the ruler, center it on the paper towel, fold the top flap down and the bottom flap up, crease those to form a U shape. Next, get the printer paper strip, which is eight and a half inches wide. Center it, center it on the paper towel. Now you're gonna take the upper half of the paper towel, fold it so that the crease is centered on the mask. Now we're pretty much done. Just take the two tabs and fold it towards the front of the mask. Now we're going to hook the rubber band over the tab, fold the flap down, hold it down, and flip the mask so we're looking at the inside of the mask. Center the stapler across the middle of the seam and place a single staple through it. Repeat on the second side. With that staple, the mask is completed. To give it a cleaner look, you can fold each corner 45 degrees. The open side of the mask is the bottom. The folded side is the top, where your nose goes. When the mask is fully popped open, it creates a dome that's hexagon shaped. When you look at the top of the mask, you can see it is preformed to fit the shape of your nose. I wanted to go over my thought process uh, when I was designing this particular mask. It comes from both my, uh, myself being a surgeon as well as a doctor. So we really need to put a mask in your hand today. Um, paper towels are everywhere and as well as printer paper. So that's number one, we need to get it in your hand. Number two, we need to teach you how to wear it properly. In order to wear a mask properly, you need to cover both the nose and the mouth. Anything that expels out of your nose and mouth has to be covered. So with a structured face mask, notice it sort of has a hexagon shape and it's, it sort of holds this dome shape. That creates a little cup over your nose and mouth. So uh, yet, you know, how do you turn a, a flat paper towel into a bowl? You need some kind of structure. So that's where the paper comes in. So the proper way to wear this face mask, I'll show you is it's uh, laying flat, you have the two ends, um, the, the folded end is on the inside, and this strip is on the outside. You're gonna hold it up against your lips, okay? Loop it over your ears, okay? But the key part is you have to pop open this fold right here in the bottom, okay? When you do that, this area gets longer and this area is shorter, so it creates this sort of bowl shape. 
I'll take my glasses off. Over here, this flat area, you press it up against your nose and it just kind of form fits right here. This strip right here actually press up against your chin. It doesn't have to wrap under the chin, but it, there's a little bit of compression here. Uh, it's not a perfect seal, but it, it very, uh, you know, it definitely covers uh, the nose and mouth well. So this should be enough as a non-medical face covering in order to catch any accidental sprays from of droplets from a cough or a sneeze, or if you happen to touch a doorknob or, a, or a, um, shake someone's hand, which you shouldn't do, uh, which has droplets. If you know you're not supposed to touch your nose and mouth, but you just, that 1%, you just, you know, forgot and you just quickly rub your nose. This essentially blocked you. Okay. It's not an N95 mask. It won't stop aerosols, but essentially we, you know, in our culture, we must, we're just touching our faces too much. Some studies say that we touch our face between five up to 28 times an hour. So imagine all those times that you potentially put yourself at risk. You may not have droplets with coronavirus every time, but you know, one of those times, one out of those 28 times that you touch your face uh, and nose and mouth area, that might be the one. So this is why uh, wearing something uh, is better than nothing, okay? So I think that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Turn on your alerts if you, uh, if you want to be updated uh, with some uh, newer versions of this mask. My original version uh, did not have the paper, uh, printer paper, and I do have a couple more ideas to sort of soup up this mask so it looks even better and, and maybe works, uh, fits on your face even better.